Hello, welcome back to my channel, Jessica here, and today I have some birthday mail from my sister. So, uh, some of the colors, or the majority of the colors that you see here on the table were ones that she sent me sample sizes, so she has the original jar and kept most of it, and she sends me those sample size jars just so I can have a little bit of the color if I don't have it already, and you can see this is pretty heavy on the greens. Um, that's kind of one area I was lacking a little bit is um, kind of a range of green. So the first two were from the Green Goddess Tonal Set by Revel Nails. These three are from the Sea Glass collection. So um, they're a little bit or slightly transparent. Um, <clears throat> and then the full collection, of course, is on the Revel Nails website. These are both glow in the dark. So I am going to kind of charge them up in my UV lamp and show you the glow part or how what they look like when they're glowing. So you can see that there. I wasn't expecting the bottom one, the really bright one, to be it's kind of so bright because it's very kind of dark <laughs> otherwise. Uh, this one is a mood changer, so that is what it would look like cold. And then I'm just going to kind of try to slightly heat it up and you can see when I take my thumb off of that that it looks kind of light, much lighter and more vibrant of that kind of um, purpley pink color. And then she sent me a little bit of Terra, which I believe is their French manicure pink, which is why it's pretty transparent. That pina colada, it's got a question mark because it was in a grab bag that she purchased and she wasn't, we're not quite sure if that's actually that name of that color. <laughs> we're taking a guess on that one. <laughs> so if you think it might be something else, let us know <laughs> in the comments. And then as part of my birthday gift, uh, she sent, um, or she purchased one of the grab bags. Now the grab bags usually come with four colors but um, one of them I'm going to save and send back to her. And this, I, the major part of my birthday gift is the cocktail mystery box. And that was out at Mother's Day, which is why that Mother's Day freebie was included. And um, I didn't look up what colors were going to be in this box before she made the purchase or anything. So I'm gonna go through those quickly. Um, we have lavender lemonade. There were two kind of green colors, so we have Margarita and Apple Teeny. Really pretty. And then the last two are Blue Hawaiian and Strawberry Daiquiri. Now, um, like I was saying, I, I didn't really look up and see like what the colors were going to be, and I was really hoping that the cock because we knew it was going to be a cocktail theme that one of the colors was either gonna be margarita or mojito because those are my favorite mixed drinks. So um, I'm going with margarita for today's Manny as a continuation of my birthday Manny's with the birthday mail and margaritas being one of my favorite drinks. And I'm gonna, um, I did most of the fingers already but because this is a little bit of a different kind of dip powder, you can kind of see in the bottom of the jar liner there that um, it's not really like the circular or um, hexagon shape kind of glitters. They're almost like little pieces of tinsel, if you will. You think of tinsel as kind of a long strand, and these were kind of um, <clears throat> like a strand in shape but short it's kind of hard to explain so hopefully when I zoomed in there you could kind of see what I what I meant so um, I on the other fingers I did initially try to use my glitter press to kind of pat those down and I think because it wasn't that kind of um, glitter that you normally see in some of the dip powders it was just, 
acting a little different. So I did have to do it with my finger. They laid down better if I just did it with my finger. Those little like tinsel-like strands. <laughs> and the powder itself, it almost, is, no matter how much I shook it up, the powder itself in the jar kind of looked marbled. Um, you can't really tell from the camera, but it kind of had like a, it almost looks like a yellow powder with a lot of green, uh, uh, like those tinsels and shimmers and everything like that. And uh, for the mystery boxes, all of the labels are on the top of the jar rather than the bottom. So I was just showing you that there. And I'm going to go ahead and cap everything with my clear glitter dip uh, powder. I am going to speed that up uh, quite a bit as well, and then I will be back for activator. <laughs> Sorry, what I was doing there, there was just a really large glitter piece right on the top there, so I was just pulling that out so it didn't get on one of my nails. <laughs> Okay, and I'm just going in with my stiffer, scrubby brush. Seems like with the clear acrylic powder, if you just kind of use the fluffier brush, if you, if you don't really get all of that, like, kind of dust off of it, uh, you can sometimes end up with some uh, white specks or it might look a little cloudy, so the stiffer brush really helps with that. So I'm going to go ahead and activate uh, each one of the nails. I'm going to let that set and then we'll move on to top coat. And well, actually before top coat, I am going to file off camera so I, I'm not including that part here. When, you co when we come back, my nails will be all filed and then we'll move on to top coat. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't have any problems at all with uh, filing, and I think sometimes the, the clear powder, especially over any kind of glitters or um, different kind of uh, powders, I actually cap all of um, my dip powder application with clear, because even on your flat or cream colors, um, you could sometimes end up with kind of like filing burn marks, especially if you're using an e-file. So if you cap with clear, that will kind of help protect your color or make sure you don't um, kind of like wear down any of that color and um, get kind of ununiform spots, so to speak. So capping in clear is also always a good idea. 
Um, it's also more durable than pigment powders. Um, so I, I don't really know all the science behind all of that, but it'll help your nails be a little bit stronger as well. So for the top coat, you can see here, I'm doing just three swipes pretty much on each nail. Um, you can't really see it because I zoomed in quite a lot, but I am also wiping off the brush before I put it back into the bottle so that if there is any activator residue, I'm not going to contaminate my liquid or um, ruin the brush because uh, if there's any activator left on there when you put it back in the bottle, you could end up um, ruining the brush and it gets all hard, so we don't want that either. Uh, and then on the second go around with the top coat, I'm going to go ahead and be a little bit more thorough with the application. Make sure I get it on my free edge because I use my peel base. And I think top coat is one of those things you can't really um, go over the steps enough as far as how to do it. Because I think that's one area where if you don't get it right, especially with the dip powders and you end up with kind of like a cloudy or dull top coat that kind of ruins the mani. So uh, for the dip powder, it's very specific on how you apply it. So we're doing only the two layers and I'll go ahead and let you watch. And then I am going to add some stamping to this as well. So we'll get into that in, the mo in a moment. Okay, so I have my Maniology plate. This was from one of the subscription boxes, I believe. Uh, it's MXM034, I think that is. And it has this kind of little tropical drink. I didn't have any um, nail art that specifically was like a margarita drink. <laughs> so I'm just going to go with the little tropical drink. So um, it is kind of just the outline of the glass and everything. So I'm going to do that with the black so it really shows up against that very light background. You can see the plate is a little dirty looking and that's because initially I did try it with white um, for the outline and it just, it did not show up at all against that light green dip powder. Um, one thing I also wanted to mention as well, um, I didn't necessarily have to do the dip powder top coat prior to doing the stamp. I mean, I, I did. I could have omitted, omitted that step completely and just done like a sticky base and then uh, top coat. But, um, you know, it is what it is at this point. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a tiny bit of reverse stamping. So my drink has a little straw. So we're going to put a little bit of white on that and then we're going to color in that umbrella. I didn't really want to color in what would be like the liquid in the glass because I did want that to just kind of look like the green um, margarita drink. So we're just going to let that dip powder color kind of shine through and just add a couple of little accents.
This is a cute little stamp though. And I'm sorry the video kind of cut out a little bit there. Um, I don't know what exactly happens sometimes with the camera. It kind of splits the, the video, so it was a little bit of a jump there. I'm just actually going to top this with my Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat, since I did already do the dip powder um, underneath. Now, another thing that you can do as well, um, if... I didn't do my dip powder top coat already. You could just do your like sticky base coat so the stamp has something to stick to. You could, um, and you could do this even before um, filing. Top it with the Maniology smudge free top coat and then you could cap everything and clear, do your filing and um, your dip powder top coat on top of the stamp to kind of really encapsulate it and protect it. Uh, so if that's something you want to see, let me know and I can try it out. <laughs> We're going to go in with my Candy Skin Care Cuticle Oil. It's always a good idea after all of the, um, everything you kind of put your hands through with the dip powder process to re-nourish everything. But uh, let me know what you think of this Manny. It was a lot of fun, and uh, I like that the dip powder was kind of a little bit of a different type. It wasn't your typical glitter, but it's super, super pretty. And I don't really think the lights on the camera or even in, out in the sunshine really did justice to what this powder looks like. It was super, super pretty and sparkly. But please like and subscribe if you're not already and uh, leave a comment for me below if you'd like and we'll be back with some more manis shortly uh, I, I, I do have some plans for some more for this month and uh, we'll see how it goes <laughs> anyway <laughs> I'm just rambling now <laughs> All right, so let me know what you think, like and subscribe, and until next time, bye for now.